hey welcome back to the youtube channel if this is your first time thank you so much if you're returning thank you too so happy sunday i hope we're getting ready for the end of year celebrations it's november already and i'm very excited okay so like the video said you know there are two clear opportunities that i want to just quickly share with us and um they are on euro usd and pound usd it's kind of similar anyway i already talked about this in the video last week so i'm just going to recap and just show you exactly what to do okay let's get right into it so if you look at the monthly chart you can see let me zoom out here you can see just like i said last in last quick video um that if the market breaks the high of last month then we can look for probably more buys or buy opportunities and i think we have that on euro usd on pound usd it's kind of like the same thing on the monthly chart on friday the two of them broke out upwards and broke out the high of the month last month you remember last month ended as a doji so this month just rose up and broke that high so now the opportunity is on daily so if you switch to daily this is how it looks like you know i talked about it last week about three days in the same direction you wait for a pullback so we can see that we have three days by wednesday by thursday by friday so how are we going to take advantage of this opportunity we're going to wait on monday tuesday and we'll see a pullback then we can place the buy now preferred levels to take the buy now the same thing is just exactly the same thing is just like on the euro usd so i'll show you exactly how to take it you can see buy 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 when is it thursday friday buy so you use your fibonacci tool like this draw it to the high level highest level just like that you do this you can do the same thing on uh, pound usd also use your fibonacci tool draw it up to the highest level just like that so now as you can see this is the 23.6 level this is the 38.2 level so what you're going to be looking out for is this now on monday let me just quickly mention on monday which is a few hours from now um when the market opens it may go a little bit higher you get so you may want to extend this depending on how high it goes but once you start seeing that pull back draw this fibonacci now your target should be where you should look at buying from should be anywhere from around the 38.2 level so you can put a pending order at the 38.2 level from the current high another one maybe at the 50 and the last one at the um 61.8 then your stop loss can just be a little bit below the 61.8 you get maybe 1.2168 not too long make your stop loss tight because since it's a correction period if it's doing another up and down it may actually go all the way down so you don't want to get stopped out for a trade that um take a huge loss for a trade that is not going in a particular direction but my thought is that um probably it may almost it may get to the 38 you get it may also just get to it um um 28 23.6 and turn around back but you taking from 26.6 may not be a very good trade so you use a very tight stop of maybe using 50 which is not really a good idea because this is daily time frame you understand so I think better you put the penny order at the 38.2 and when it pulls back there you place a buy and follow it into upward then you take profit you can um if you enter more than one trade what can happen is that when it pulls back you can adjust your uh, stop loss to your entry take partial profits then wait if it continues fine you keep making profits you get if, if it turns back then means the second trade just gives you brings you out on break even and you make money on the other one you took profit so that is it for you guys i don't intend for the video to be so long i just want to give you that opportunity quickly it's the same thing on euro usd so you just implement that if the video gave you value please like share subscribe and i'll see you next week have a blessed week